So this remote car rental business, A to Z full guide, will show you how to pass $10,000 per month without owning your own fleet. By the time you're done checking this out, guys, you're going to have everything you need to be fully established with this business model. So the main topics we're going to touch on today is how to start a rental car business without buying cars or owning the fleet. How to find cars that will get rented out immediately. That is super special. And then I'm going to get in trouble for this one because what are the best platforms to list your virtual fleet on for the fastest booking to get you paid? Okay. So before we start, some of you guys might be new, even though I've been here since 2015. Here's some testimonials because a lot of you guys like that. These are found on the channel. TT got results in less than an hour the same damn day of starting this. Then we have Coach Keith use of this business model to bring in over 140k in less than 90 days all right kim got 24 um got results in less than 24 hours making thousands of dollars and then we have one of our top students shakim eight bookings and he's booked up for months ahead over 1500 dollars per booking okay so now reasons uh the reasons this business model works so well for beginners Number one is this is the same business model used by the company Turo. So the definition of Turo is an American peer-to-peer -peer car sharing company based in San Francisco. The company allows private car owners to rent out their vehicles online uh, in about five countries. I'm pretty sure you heard of them. Okay, so it's a platform that allows you to rent out any car whenever you want. And if you have a car, you can make money renting it out. If you need a car, you can rent the car out for a small price. So the yes, the best business, uh, the best benefit about this business model right here is that Toro does not own any of the cars that they rent out. All right. So this is the same business model. This is why you can scale to multiple cities extremely fast. Uh, faster than you'll ever be able to do offline with inventory, hiring staff, having equipment, doing all of that extra stuff that you have to do when you're the physical owners of these assets, guys. All right, number two, Airbnb uses the same business model in the hospitality industry. So the definition for Airbnb is it's a company operating an online marketplace for short and long-term homestays and experiences. Matter of fact, I'm in Panama right now, and I'm on an Airbnb right here. So we know the business model works because I'm paying them. Oh, yeah. So the best part about Airbnb's business model is it does not own any of the properties that are listed on the platform. So let me get this straight, guys. They are the biggest hospitality chain out there, but they don't even own any hotels or real estate. That's why this business model works. And I'm about to show you how to do this with the car rental niche, okay? But last but not least, we got Uber. So I'm just proving to you guys, this is nothing new. It's been happening for a long time. So Uber is the biggest taxi company, but plot twist, they don't own any freaking taxis, guys. They do not own any cars. So what is the business model that you'll be starting your remote car rental business with today? Uh, this business model is more famously known as drop servicing, but I teach high ticket drop servicing with a twist. Another name for it is service arbitrage. You might've heard about that back in 2020. I released a course called The Godfather of Drop Servicing, became world known and famous in the lands. No, I'm joking with you. Okay, so... If you don't know, drop servicing is a business model where a company sells services to customers but outsources the work to freelancers or agencies for a lower price, okay? So we're going to replace that word agency and freelancers because the way other people do it is they do it with these little fiber gigs and little cheap bull crap like that. We took it locally. We drop service local business services, okay? So the company then keeps the difference between the customer pays, what the customer pays and what the um, <laughs> freelancers pay without the customer knowing the project is outsourced. See, I don't like that Google definition, guys. Basically, we're doing service arbitrage, but with local business services, okay? So this is a full A to Z guide. You're going to want to take notes because right after this, like dog, in the next 24 to 48 hours, I'm going to show you some more testimonials, guys, because in the next 24 to 48 hours, just by taking what you learn here today, you can be making some money. So 
So this is not an entertainment video. Don't expect music backgrounds and bull crap. I want you to gird your loins, be a grown up and focus for a minute. Don't worry about what's on a suggested section of the videos coming up next and all of that bull crap. If you really are serious about getting a 10K per month, I'm giving you everything you need right here, okay? All right, so how will we use this business model to start our remote car rental business? Number one, research which vehicles will rent out the fastest in your specific, keyword, specific, not Pacific, specific area, okay? So why am I saying that? Why am I emphasizing, putting emphasis on that? Well, because a lot of people will go to YouTube and they will search all these YouTube videos about what's the best cars to rent out on Toro. And then they'll go and use their credit card or a loan or Put money together with a family or friend and go and get these cars, put them on Turo, and they won't sell. But that's probably because of your region, guys. Okay, so there are cars that are congruent across cities and states, but then there are other cars that aren't good in a specific city or state. You understand what I'm saying? So, I mean, if you're in Alaska, Hondas probably won't do that good in the snow season. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Right? Y'all know what I'm talking about. So num number one method is you can go to Google Trends. You can search car rentals in your area, guys. It's going to look something, a little something like this. Ricky, ricky, ricky. Okay, it's going to show you which cities and states or what area in your city uh, um, they're looking for car rentals, like the highest demand. You want to make sure it's a demand for the type of cars. Then you want to look over a time period. All right, Google Trends allows you to check which cars were trending over uh, the last four hours. The last 24 hours, the last uh, seven days, the last 30 days, and the last 90 days, and even the last 12 months. You want cars that are not just trending for uh, a couple weeks or something. You want them to be congruent over that amount of time, okay? So the second method is you want to play the alphabet game over there on Google. Over on Google, you can search exotic car rentals plus your area like you see in here. And as you'll see, all of these extra keywords started popping up. They're going to start suggesting like uh, specific vehicles and stuff. For example, a Lamborghini or a Range Rover uh, rental in Las Vegas or a Nissan GT, blah, blah, blah they'll start making suggestions in this search box. So you just play around with that a little bit and then you'll make your list and then you'll go to the next step, okay? So the second step is to acquire cars that you do not own so that you can assemble your virtual fleet. So where do you find these cars? We have a couple of ways to find these cars. Remember, you don't have to pay anything to partner with these people and get these cars, okay? All right, so now, A, you can go to Fiverr. This is this is just one of the methods out of a couple. So don't trip, guys. All right. I just want to give you everything so you're fully equipped. This is your arsenal. You understand? You can go to Fiverr, purchase a $10 list of active mobile numbers in your area, and then you do a text blast with an invitation to help people make money with their extra cars. That's literally what they did when they first started building these platforms. They just reached out to the local people and like, yo, if you're not making money with your cars, this is the way that you can get some extra chump change. Okay, so if it worked in the past, it'll work again. It's not as effective as the next couple of methods, but it still works and it works fast, okay? So even if you can get three or four cars to list, in the next day or two, I mean, you're golden. You'll be making thousands of dollars, okay? So this is an image of Fiverr. You can simply go in there and search active mobile numbers. And then cheap uh, cheapest text thing is a company where you can do the text blast if you want to do it in abundance, <laughs> okay? So then we got B. B, you can manually scrape Google's search results for the local exotic car rental companies as well. Companies running Google ads are a high priority. So why are companies running Google ads a high priority? Well, if they're doing paid advertisement for their exotic car rental company, that lets you know that they are actively accepting new clients, okay? So they need people to rent out their Lamborghinis and their Maybachs and all of that. They're willing to put their money where their lot is. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, so um, 
Once you get their emails, you're simply going to email them the partnership agreement form that we give you inside the copy and paste rentals program. Okay. They'll already have the high demand cars in their inventory. The good thing about partnering with multiple companies and people, guys, is you're always, you're always going to have the cars that people request in stock. You're never going to be able to say to a person, you're never going to have to turn anybody down and say, oh, I'm sorry, we don't have that car. All right. The more people you partner with, the more companies you partner with, the more supply you have for the demand. That means the more moolah, the more young moolah baby you can make. You understand? OK, so this is how you will go ahead and scrape those Gmails. If you don't have a software, you can do it manually like this. You can search uh, exotic car rental and then put in quotations gmail.com. And then put your city that you're going to be doing this in. Uh, and you can do this anywhere, guys. Decide which where, where you want to do it, right? Okay, and then you just press enter. And as you can see in the image, you'll see all of these Gmails pop up uh, from any company that has their Gmail visible on their website. And you're simply, if you're on a Mac computer, you're going to cl uh, uh, click on Command A. And it's going to highlight everything. And then you're just going to uh, click on Command C and copy everything. Go over to Chat GBT, click uh, Command V and paste it in there. And then tell Chat GBT to extract all of the Gmails uh, from that data. And then you'll just go and do a little quick email blast, letting them know that you're trying to bring them some freaking bookings. Okay. All right. So C. This is my number one favorite and easiest and fastest way to build your virtual rental car fleet, okay? And that is simply to just reach out to the people on the platform, <laughs> people that are already on the platform, but they must meet this criteria, all right? These four things right here, they, this is a must, okay? No exception, guys, all right? At any given time, if you're ready to go ahead and jump into copy and paste rentals, I know a lot of you guys are at work right now and you might not be able to finish this. I urge you to finish this. I don't care if you go back to work late. This is going to free you if you take it serious. But if you have to, just go ahead and jump, jump into copy and paste rentals community and course is only 97 bucks. All right, let's move on. All right, must have been on a platform for at least... 30 days. Okay. They got to feel the fire because they've been, um, you know, uh, <laughs> sold a dream all through YouTube about how, Hey, as soon as you list the car on there, it's going to get rented out. Like in the next 15, 20 minutes, they see all these dudes on Instagram with their Toro fleets making money hella fast and all of that. So <laughs> when they get on there, they get a rude awakening when 30 days pass and they still haven't got one booking. But there's reasons for that. And I'm going to show you why they haven't got bookings. And this is how we're going to make our bread and butter. Yes, Lord, turn into some bakers. OK. All right. So they need to be on there for at least 30 days to feel the burn. Must be verified that it's not a fake profile. Must have a, uh, more than one vehicle listed on the platform. OK, because if they have more than one vehicle on the platform, one of them have a review and the other one don't. A lot of the times they're not going to know the reason. And we do know the reason. OK, <laughs> OK, knowledge is power and it leads to money. OK. All right. So must be suffering from lack of bookings and reviews. OK, so uh, a lot of the times they'll have um other vehicles on the on the platform and those other vehicles will have reviews and be getting rented out and be doing good so they're not really feeling the burn too much so those aren't the people that we really want to reach out to we want to reach out to the ones that might have a few on there but none of the dang on vehicles are getting uh, bookings okay <laughs> they need to feel the burn guys you are going to present yourself as a physician but it got to be something wrong they have to have an illness right OK, so this is just an example of something I just went to find real quick. OK, so this dude has Chevrolet Suburban 2022. He has 23, uh, 23 trips and he's joined in 2017. So that's kind of pathetic. OK, that's hell as ago, um, almost eight years ago. And yeah, 23 trips. OK, now I'm going to show you exactly what's wrong with his listing. All right. What's going on in the kitchen? But I don't know what's cooking. All right, so we come over here. As you can see, it still says no trips right here. 
So he might got trips on his other vehicles or something like that. And that's cool, guys. But this one does not. And there's a reason for it, I'm going to tell you. So before I tell you what's wrong with this guy's listings and why he's not getting any bookings, here's more proof that copy and paste rentals works. Okay. All right. So we have a brother in their name, Hafiz, made $1,500 instantly and was booked up for months ahead after doing what I told him to do, it just snapped and oh my God, it started working. Then we have another brother after hearing, like, look, after hearing his first week results, you're going to want to try this, guys. Okay. All right. So now let's get back to it. So I'll give you three things wrong with his listing that we teach you to easily fix. All right. So we're not just going to tell people what's wrong and then not give them a solution. That's like miserable. You understand what I'm saying? All right. So number one, <laughs> his title is horrible. People do not realize that being on a directory platform is the same thing as being on a store shelf, all right? Your product will not get chosen if it looks off-brand or if it's identical to others. Like, dog, you want people to immediately have the answers to why should I choose you, okay? Like, why should I choose you? And your title is the first introduction to answering that question for them, okay? All right, so it needs to stand out. And one way to do this is with your title, okay? His title has no whip appeal, babyface voice, no whip appeal or reason for me to choose it. It is literally forcing me to stroll by. People like this are forcing people to price shop instead of value shop. I don't want people to choose someone because of the price. All right, look, look, I'm a window shopper, right? We don't want that. We want them to be excited to go with us, even if we're the more expensive option, just because our offer is created so much value for them. People want to purchase an experience. They don't want to just purchase a car, right? They, they want an experience. You understand what I'm saying? They need something to look forward to. You understand? Let them know this is the damn Chevrolet Suburban from the uh, the bad boy scene on the highway when it got crashed off. The... No, I'm just playing. Okay? <laughs> they need an experience, though. So you guys get it, what I'm saying. So look at this title. It just says Chevrolet Suburban 2022. That's nothing. You're literally putting yourself on the shelf. It's like saying um, toothpaste when you're sitting next to Colgate and Crest. Like what? <laughs> Toothpaste next to Sensodyne. Come on, like dog, like what is supposed to stand out? Like we know what type of car it is, like what's supposed to stand out? So now we have something else wrong with this, okay? One of the worst parts about his listing is the description as well. What is it saying to make me want to rent out this Suburban? Let me show you this description, guys. All right, so this is a great car with plenty of space for both of uh, both the front seat passengers and the back seat as well. Comfortably fits eight people and has plenty of trunk space. It is the push to start and also has Bluetooth. All right, so in the description, he starts going off, and it isn't not me like bashing dude or anything. I don't know him, right? Like, but he starts going off about like the features and everything. Okay. If that's what he was supposed to put right there, guys, they wouldn't have this right up under it. It's a section called features, literally. And guess what? Bluetooth is right there. <laughs> Didn't he just mention that up here? Dog, this is all extra space for SEO purposes and optimization of your profile purposes. You want to use this to engage the people and let them know that they're in the right place and that they should choose you. He's not, he, I don't see any irresistible offer in here at all. That is terrible. All right. So he used the description to put the, to, to put the damn features in there. Like that don't make sense. All right. Lastly, we're going to talk about, lastly, number three, the easiest thing that we can teach you to fix immediately that will move him up in the algorithm and bring in bookings is to get reviews common sense okay uh people are skeptical by nature they follow the leaders so knowing this fact we use it to our advantage we show you how to get real reviews 
real reviews that won't get removed or the listings won't get banned. And this is part of our superpower in copy and paste rentals. This is what his currently looks like. That's embarrassing when someone goes to your stuff and they can't see that you've already brought satisfaction to someone else. Why do you think every couple seconds I keep showing you great results that I got people? For example, ta-da. All right, one of my oldest students, Bruno, is at $10,000 a month completely hands-off. He's been doing this for a while. I helped him build out a site and that mug is making crazy money. So the $10,000 a month is just passive. That doesn't include the deals that come from it. He's in like the construction niche. So some of those deals can be up to like six figures and all of that extra stuff. And he gets percentages off the work and all type of crazy stuff. Okay. So guys, this business model works. So how will you? Now you see it works for everybody else. You see it is a proven business model with Toro, Airbnb, and all of that stuff. But how will it work for you? Okay. This is about you. I showed you everything. I showed you how to find the trending cars. I showed you uh, how to build your virtual fleet through partnerships, how to price the rentals the way that we teach you to get the highest profits. You're going to do that you're going to charge higher than everybody else on the platform for that specific vehicle because you're going to create an irresistible offer adding value that they can't get anywhere else. This is how you get your product yourself off the shelf. They can't price shop you anymore. Okay, so then you're going to split the profits that come in from your listing with the people that actually own the freaking vehicle. And then you're just going to repeat this over and over through automation completely hands off of how we show you how to do it. Boom. So that's very simple. So before the prices go up, guys, go to the first pinned comment. It is only $97 right now. Soon it will be $97 every five minutes. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. But it is going to go up soon, guys. Okay. It is only $97 to learn and implement and profit from what I just showed you today in depth. And if I showed you all of this for free, imagine what we got locked up in the vault. And we don't just do this with exotic car rentals. We do this with yacht rentals, yacht charter rentals. Okay. We do this with uh, vacation home rentals. We do this with party bus rentals. We kill it guys. And we want to help you kill it as well. So make a move.